I could be anyone for you, lamb. I charge less than the Ethera. But do I ever know my way around a haybed? And what will Cassandra do once this is over? Wow. We have a lot in common. I was hoping when the smoke clears we could find somewhere quiet. You are a gift from the goddess herself. And by the fates. She chose well. You're making me blush, stranger. And I could do so much more. <laughs> I'm not sure about all of that, but you can definitely fight. I may be a priestess of love, but I also bite. I always bite. I imagine this information would be useful to you. Or if that isn't enough to satisfy you. I will. Well, it has been a while since I've... communed with the gods. And don't worry. Vrachmi will also be given for your services. You drive a hard bargain. I'll do what I can for you and Kithira. Thank you, Miss Dios. Perhaps... When all this is over, we could unwind together. Priorities, Leone. I'll see you later. We've been expecting you. Please follow me. She's instructed me to take good care of you before she arrives. Your shoulders must be aching. I'm sure I can help loosen you up before the Oni arrives. Look like you're ready to go. Securing Kithira can wait. Good, because I can't. By the fates! You don't understand. I need your help. So many do. These hands have helped more people than Hippocrates. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? This piece is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now, we need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. I've seen a lot of people. But you're one of the most beautiful I've ever met. Is that so? You're a welcome distraction from my problems. I've been told I'm great at being a distraction. I'm sure you have a bed inside we could use. <laughs> you get straight to the point, don't you? I'll show you how to the point I can get. I'm sure you will. You can start that after we have a little fun. I do enjoy your attempts. Tell me, what is it that's meant to make me swoon this time? If you undress me, I think you'll find out. I can do that. Mm. That was enough to make me swoon. Told you. It's nice to be out here. Just the two of us. Is that right? There were a lot of onlookers when we sparred. You'll be happy to know the rest of our training will be more... private. This time with you has been... I don't know what to say. Say no more. 
In a strange way, I see my own reflection in you. Yes. We've only just met, and yet we have a... connection. You're a unique creature, Cassandra. <laughs> I'm telling you, he was never fully dressed. And some people on Kithira built a statue to this man. Malaka <laughs> Sembedokles. I thought you came up here to live in the moment. How's this for in the moment? Let's make it more than a moment. Must you wear so many layers? Comes with the job, I guess. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye. Until the battle, I mean. Let's not make this difficult. I can't help thinking. We don't have to cross swords. You could skip the battle as easy as I can, but you won't. You're right. Goodbye, Roxana. Come with me. This future is not a dream. I'm sorry. I suppose that means you trust me. I don't know what that means. I'll tell you what it means. Love is a singular comfort, Cassandra. What comes next means harmony for everyone. I seem to recall the legend saying that Andromeda was nude and tied to a rock. Was she? I'll have to remember that the next time I'm reenacting the myth. Lalea has a rich heritage for theater, though not so much for fighting. You protected my city. We protected it. I don't know how. I can think of a few ways I can. Really? You? Later then. Gratitude, Mistios. He. My grandfather died not too far from here. I'm glad... Cassandra, if you could come see me before you leave, I'll be by the waterfall. It's good to see all this beauty at peace. Hmm. And for years to come, thanks to you. I can't promise you peace. But you did give us the tools to preserve it. So, what kind of reward did you have in mind? My first thoughts were of getting you out of those clothes. That's the first thought. I can't wait to see how the second and third thoughts go. Oh, there won't be much thinking. But there will be seconds and thirds. What will you do now? With everything taken care of, I'm free to do what I want. A list that includes spending more time with you. Who are you? What are you doing here? Speak before I cut you! Gods, how I've missed that temper. Cassandra? Is it really you? I got your note. How did you know I was in Arcadia? Everyone's hunting for the Mystios with the bro- No matter where I used to hide on Kefalonia, you were the only one who could always find me. That's because you were terrible at hiding. Maybe you only found me because I wanted you to. <gasps> you were underwater so long I was getting worried. I wasn't coming up for air until I found the perfect gift. It's beautiful. You warm my heart like the sunrise. Your heart isn't the only thing I could warm up. <laughs> Has that line ever worked for you? I guess not. <laughs> Anais? What's wrong? Seeing you... Playing and laughing like old times. There's something I haven't told you. I'm married. I see. I should have told you sooner. I'm sorry. Meet me back at the house. I'll explain everything. What are you smiling about? I was just thinking about how I could possibly repay you for bringing Arion home to me. I'm sure I could think of a few things. <laughs> Name your price, Mistyos. 
all this time together and you haven't shown me where you sleep. <laughs> I'll show you a better spot, but we won't be sleeping. <laughs> Appetite is insatiable. <laughs> you've awakened a part of me I thought I'd lost. I know you've already done so much for me, but if there's just one more thing you could do. I'm not sure I can stand up. <laughs> it's been nice having you around, Cassandra. But I feel bad. All these years apart, and you've spent most of your time with Arion. Let's get away from all this. Just... There is a market in the year. I haven't been to in ages. There's food and wine and music. An evening alone sounds perfect. But what about Arion? Don't worry about him. All you need to worry about is meeting me in Teyea. I should find out what Anais likes before our evening together. Now, let's find something to eat and drink, shall we? <laughs> the merchants have the most delicious selections. And tonight, I'll leave the decision-making to you. Remember when we used to steal food from the markets of Kefalonia? We could steal from this one, for old time's sake. <laughs> Always the troublemaker. Welcome, my friends. I have a wonderful selection of wines for you and the lovely lady. Only the finest grapes from the finest vineyards. Do you prefer your wines dry, sweet, or strong? You've been all over the world. You must know all the best wines. This woman is a single mother who runs her own farm. She likes her wine strong. <laughs> you know me too well. Strong wine is the best wine. Smell that? That's the tastiest food in all of the year. Tell me, what will it be? We have leg of lamb with rice and olives, roast chicken with fresh vegetables, and slow-cooked goat stew. <gasps> oh, decisions, decisions. We'll take the lamb with olives, please. Oh, I love olives. I'm going to devour this meal. And then I'm going to devour you. <laughs> welcome, welcome. If you've got sweet teeth, then I've got sweet treats for those teeth. What will it be? Grape pudding with walnuts, fresh strawberries with cream, or baked pears with a honey glaze? Oh, yum! Choose wisely. I love sweets. Pears sound delicious. Homer called them gifts from the gods, but it's the honey that makes them truly divine. Tonight was perfect. You knew exactly what I wanted. Now, tell me what it is that you want. Let me show you. Having you here was the first time I felt joy since my husband died. I hoped you were still the same person I loved back on Kefalonia. And that if you felt the same, there'd be a place for you here. Anais. Please let me finish. The fact you taught Arion to fight, when I explicitly asked you not to, shows me you're not the partner I'm looking for. But he fought off those bandits. He could have been injured or worse. I understand. And it's okay. You felt you knew what was better for my son. And maybe you're right. But I'm looking for someone I can trust wholeheartedly. But I love you. I've always loved you. I know. And I loved you, too. But I think it would be best if Arion and I moved on with our lives, stopped living in the past and started building our future. Parting as friends, then? Of course. We will always be friends. Say goodbye to Arion for me. I will, Eagle Bearer. Oh. Looks so peaceful from up here. It always does, but it never is. I know, Icarus. I'm tired too. I've met so many people. Harkons, kings, and now Isu. They're all the same. Go do this. Bring me that. Go kill him. I don't know if I can do this anymore. If I were ruler, things would be much, much different. What's that, Icarus? A speech from your new ruler?
Atlanteans! Tonight, we tear off these clothes and make love until the sun comes up. I wonder what Alcibiades is doing these days. <laughs> or who? Who is Alcibiades? You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the Digastis' speech. Eh, it was more of a fantasy, really. Call me Cassandra. I thought it was wonderful, Digastis Cassandra. <laughs> <laughs>